Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in to another one of my moth videos. This is Bart Coppens, your sexy moth king. And today, one of the biggest silk moths that can be found in Europe has hatched in captivity. What we are looking here at is the Saturnia piri, that's the scientific name. But uh, I believe its common name is the giant peacock moth or the giant peacock emperor. Uh, this species can actually by, be quite common in the in the warmer parts of Central and uh, Southern Europe in some occasions. Uh, they thrive in forests and shrublands. And one of some of their most commonly used food plants in the wild are ash tree, fraxinus, but also fruit, pear, fruit trees such as wild pear, pyrus, apple tree, malus and cherries, prunus. These moths tend to have only one generation per year and are found in uh, spring and in summer. And they're absolutely marvelous animals. Oh, This one's starting to shake a little bit because uh, it probably wants to find a better place to sit right now. Yep, it found one, my hand. Okay, sure, why not? Now this species, it uh, prefers more dry habitats. They uh, don't seem to tolerate locations with a lot of humidity. They like uh, dry lands with uh, random shrubbery and uh, trees, the dequis trees, maybe a little bit of slight woodland as well. And um, these guys can be really common in some parts of Europe, as I've mentioned before. Here's a fun fact. Do you know the famous painter Vincent van Gogh? Yes, I'm a Dutch guy, so I can pronounce that name correctly. Vincent van Gogh. Well, he, uh, he found one of these moths in the wild once and he painted it. I don't know if you've seen that painting before. Uh, it's funny because um, he decided to call the painting Death's Head Moth. Death's Head Moth. Now, those of you who are familiar with the Death's Head Hawk Moth, Acherontia atopos, that's a completely different species. So, um, Vincent van Gogh was a great painter, but uh, <laughs> turns out he didn't know that much about moths because that's a misidentification. It's a marvelous animal. Look at these nice patterns here on the wings and these eyes. Because of these eye spots here on the hind wings and four wings is, uh, is what gave them the name peacock moth, as you can see. In captivity, these guys uh, are not very hard to breed, but it's also not very easy. They can be a little bit sensitive to overcrowding and too much humidity, but if you keep them warm and dry and clean, then it's not so hard to breed it. It's a marvelous animal. It's one of the biggest and best moths that you can find in Europe. If you ever go on a vacation in France or uh, Italy or the Balkans or wherever in Europe, then um, if you visit in the right time of the year, especially a bit in early summer, then you have a good chance of seeing them. Uh, if you're not in a massive city, that is. If you go to some woodlands. And uh, that's just a beauty. Take a look. I believe uh, the list of host plants is very big. I uh, mentioned ash tree, um, fruit trees such as apple, uh, cherry, pear, plum. But uh, the list is much bigger. I believe they also, in the more rare occasions, eat things like willow, salix, and honestly a lot more plants than that as well. So it's quite an adaptable species.
also notice the big and hairy body that it has. It has a lot of hairs on its body, it's a very fluffy animal. And then that's because it's nocturnal. And uh, sometimes, in bad years, the nights can be a little bit colder than usual. And uh, it doesn't bother this species. They can be very active even if the weather is more shitty, so to speak. See the hairy body? That keeps them warm at night. These moths have no uh, actual uh, mouth parts that work because it's a Saturnidae, a silk moth. And uh, because of that they only live for about two weeks. The animals cannot eat, they cannot feed and they will die after a short while. Just look at that. This is my first male that hatched this year. I don't know if I will be successful to have a pairing. I don't have that many cocoons so I need a little bit of luck. But uh, maybe if a female will hatch pretty soon, I hope so. And I have the chance of reproducing them. It would be cool to show on YouTube the life cycle. But uh, I must be lucky to do it, to be honest. So please wish me luck and thank you for watching. Please stay tuned. I'm uh, making some very big long videos on my channel with uh, educational content. And I hope that you'll stay around to see that. Bye bye.